To commemorate the 10th year anniversary of our competition, we would like to honor our founder, George Charlie, with a brief tribute. One of the newest donors to GSVC, James Rose, would like to say a few brief words about his involvement with Mr. Shirley and this competition. James? Thank you very much, Dr. Toppin. Good evening, George Shirley. What an honor to be with you this afternoon, and I'm delighted to be able to share this very brief tribute. George Shirley is uh, one of the great luminary opera singers, coaches, and teachers uh, in the world. And we're delighted that he's right here with us in Ann Arbor, and we're delighted that we have the George Shirley Vocal Competition. The music for the competition is an honor to have performed. And we thank our forefathers, and we thank our foremothers for the creation of this great music that is being honored in this competition. The legacy that is being created by the George Shirley Vocal Competition is great and it will continue many, many years. And it is an honor to know George, to have studied with George, to have worked with George, and to call him a true friend and mentor. With sincerity, we must give thanks for Dr. Louise Toppin. She is great, a performer of amazing talents, a teacher loved by her students, and a scholar admired by her colleagues. To our winners, all of you have participated and those selected for prize. The victory is not just the prize. The victory is in the effort, the study, the discipline, and yes, the love of music that has brought us all together today. We are grateful to all of you. And now I will return this honors program back to Dr. Toppin. Thank you. Thank you so much, James, for those wonderful comments. And now we will have a few more remarks by other friends of the competition. Hello, my name is Dave Gear, and I am the Dean of the University of Michigan School of Music, Theater and Dance. On behalf of the entire SMTD community, I want to congratulate George Shirley on the 10th anniversary of the George Shirley Vocal Competition. George's impact on the world of music cannot be overstated. With a career that spans more than five decades, George has had a profound impact on the performing arts as a vocalist, educator, and mentor. From the beginnings of his career as a high school music teacher for the Detroit Public Schools and the first African-American vocalist in the U.S. Army Chorus, to his more than 80 operatic roles at major opera houses around the world, George has blazed trails for BIPOC musicians and enchanted audiences. And his passion for mentoring the next generation of musicians as a professor at SMTD has helped our students learn, grow, and launch their own successful careers for more than 30 years. SMTD is proud to support the George Shirley Vocal Competition and celebrate its amazing achievements over the last 10 years. Thank you to George and the entire competition team for your vision, dedication, and hard work. Your efforts have made it possible for young musicians to pursue their dreams in vocal performance, and you have helped aspiring composers hone their craft, all while highlighting the rich history of African-American vocal repertoire. Congratulations again on this incredible milestone. Emerging from a long continuum of musical creativity, the African-American spiritual is a distinctive genre in that it is a uniquely American musical tradition. While the combination of African enslavement and Protestant Christianity existed in many other geographical locations, it was only in the United States that the spiritual developed. It is from this genre that other important African-derived musical traditions sprang, including the blues, jazz, gospel music, rhythm and blues, and other important genres. My interest in African-American spirituals was inspired by my high school music teacher, Dr. Lena McGlynn. I learned many spirituals sitting next to her as she composed and arranged at the piano. It is my hope 
that young musicians will explore this vast repertoire and not just sing the most popular 25 spirituals known by many. Voice students should approach this music with the same reverence and seriousness that they would an opera aria or art song by a European composer. The Robert Sims Spiritual Award represents perpetuation of a long and proud tradition. I am honored and humbled to make this possible. Thank you. At some point in time, a musician seeks music that sharpens and refines the essence of who they are. So much so that the experiences and nuances of that person can be expressed through a song, an opus, or a cycle. And it wasn't until my senior year of undergrad that I realized that this is what I was looking for. In my development as a classical singer, I often felt alienated from the music that I was assigned by my teachers. I craved music that told my story, um, music that I could relate to. And when I prepared for the George Shirley vocal competition in 2014 for the first time, I realized that that music was already out there waiting for me. My experience in the George Shirley competition opened the door to a world of classical music where language and harmony created a home where I always had something to say and what I said mattered. Here I came in contact with other talented African-American singers and connected with them over our shared experiences. I got feedback from African-American professionals who were successful in the business and absorbed wisdom from George Shirley and Willis Patterson about the genre. Towards the end of the competition, George Shirley spoke about the importance of this music and his dream for this event. But in the end, he said, music is a universal language. This music does not belong to just one group of people. It has its place among all the other styles of music and, like all music, belongs to everybody. After hearing this, I really have a problem performing Western classical music because I realize that music isn't about the notes, rhythms, composers, or the Shakespearean characters. It's about communicating your soul to the world. And... It's here at the George Shirley Vocal Competition that I found what I wanted to say. My name is Tyrese Bird, and I would like to share a letter with you from the 2017 George Shirley Competition First Prize College winner, Andrew Adridge. My name is Andrew Adridge, and I was one of the gracious winners of the George Shirley Competition this year. The George Shirley Competition is a gift to both music and to the future of Black representation in the arts. I could have never imagined taking part in a competition such as this when I began my professional development as an opera singer, and I couldn't be more grateful for having done so. Not only did I leave the competition a winner, I left a changed artist and young man. Each day I struggle with the career path I've chosen, not because I believe I could not succeed, but because I know that it will take more for my success to be valued than that of my colleagues. I did not know what to expect when entering this competition, but I can sincerely say that I walked away with more than money. I walked away with pride. I have not seen a representation of my race in that facet in my entire life, not only at the collegiate level, but to see high school students with a desire and a passion to better themselves through black classical music reinvigorated my drive and determination. I now feel extremely blessed and ready to take on the next chapter of development, singing the title role of Don Giovanni in the fall production at my school. This competition not only exposed me to my culture, my roots, and a new style of music, but also introduced me to professors, professionals, and the most gracious donors and benefactors whom I hope to keep in contact with for the duration of my career. Choosing to do the competition was a challenge of its own. A good friend of mine sent me a link telling me to sign up for it very late in the application process. I honestly signed up without thinking, and definitely without any repertoire. 
My first step was to ask my resources in Toronto, where I'm from, which helped to little end, save for my ARIA choice. One of the coaches that works at University of Toronto, where I go to school, suggested that I sing an aria premiered by the Opera Theatre of St. Louis from an opera called Champion by Terence Blanchard. Around this time, conveniently, a group of black singers at the university decided to put together a concert celebrating black music. I sang a rendition of Wade in the Water, and it served me so well that I used it as my spiritual. I was fortunate enough to find two very specific anthologies at the local music store which would cover the rest of my repertoire. Dr. Willis C. Patterson's anthology, whom I got to meet at the competition, which was amazing, and Art Songs and Spirituals by African American Women Composers, which has to be one of the most specific anthologies I have ever found. I was very lucky to find these two books, but it did make me think how little our music is recognized. I will forever be grateful for being exposed to this music, and I hope in the future to see our music categorized and recognized among Bach, Wagner, and Verdi as it deserves to be. Without the generosity of Mr. George Shirley and his entire administrative staff, none of the aforementioned would be possible. Not only those who won money walked away with something. Every participant left feeling good about who they are and, most importantly, where they come from, something that is hard to feel in our day and age. I would like it to be known that only this competition could have left a feeling such as this. From the master classes to the final performance, you could feel a community, not unlike a church, coming together as one. Leaving the competition made me yearn to be part of its development for the future. I assure you that in the future, the Canadian representation will grow, and I hope that it doesn't stop there. Thank you, Mr. Shirley, not for just believing in me and the other competitors, but for showing this world that we matter and that our representation matters. Thank you for everything that you have done and are doing for our music. Thank you for being an inspiration and a beacon of success to all of us. The light that shines that is the George Shirley competition will never be extinguished. The music doesn't run you, but you run the music. You command the lines. You have to peel back the fashion and feel yourself to just become involved. You gotta tell yourself you're a winner. You wanna know why? Because this is such a personal instrument. It's not outside of you. It's not about eye candy. It's not about entertainment. It is spiritual life force. And these young people, in their way, will ensure that it carries on. Over the course of his more than 50-year career, George Shirley developed a vision. A vision to provide a stage for spirituals, African-American art song, and operatic aria repertoire. In his adopted hometown of Detroit, African-American students were no longer getting the music education that was once an integral part of the educational experience. How could he bring these powerful stories to life for a new generation? With this question, the George Shirley Vocal Competition was born. He entrusted one of his former students, Dr. Louise Toppin, to make his vision a reality. That vision today is the culmination of 10 years of lifting voices, 10 years of empowering and mentoring the next generation of vocalists and composers, 10 years of building community. With your help, we've grown from one high school division awarding $1,000 in prizes our first year to three vocal divisions and one composer's division that collectively award over $30,000 in prizes each year. This competition has included more than 500 competitors since its inception, with competitors not just from Michigan, but from around the country and around the globe, with master classes and courses to help students thrive and gain insight from the best. This 
just a competition. This is a community where performers, judges, teachers, and even audience members come back year after year. If the music touches your heart, and if you are able to identify with the message that the music carries, then you have absolute rights to stand in front of an audience and sing. So why this competition? This is the first competition of its type that focuses solely on this repertoire. You have three days to hear music you don't get a chance to hear elsewhere. The competition is open to African American composers and to singers of all races and ethnicities. These three days, year after year, build a sense of community that's hard to find. Students feel connected, they find validation, they feel a sense of belonging. They don't just perform and go home. We have built a completely different model with master classes and educational opportunities that engage the students and allow them to interact with professionals. Students learn here. They study, they sing, they get live feedback. And at the end of the day, they are preserving the traditions of African American art song, spirituals, and operatic aria repertoire. Whether you are a performer, a judge, or a composer, it's clear to see the progression of the Black experience through the performance of spirituals, art songs, and arias presented at the George Shirley Vocal Competition. I'm so thankful to the George Shirley Vocal Competition because it not only showed me that there was music of my people being composed in the classical repertoire, but that as a young Black man, I could actually have an impact in the classical world um, and actually become an opera singer. Being from Canada, you don't see a lot of representation of young Black uh, individuals in this art form. And going down there and seeing not only university students performing at a high level, but, but high school students gave me the spirit and the motivation to go into my master's knowing that I didn't have to fight my own identity as a Black man, but I could be encouraged because there were individuals that looked like me that had been on this path, that have been on this path to success. I love that this competition not only gives a space for students to perform, but also involves master classes, spaces for learning, teaching, and discussions. That's what makes this competition so unique, is that it provides a place for us to share in this music through performance, but also a place where we can engage in conversation and talk about the music. The mission to, to show young black people that there's a culture of classical music that they are a part of that is not only existing now, not only will exist in the future, but has existed in the past for so long is something that I will never, will never forget. And I'm so thankful to the competition for showing me that. I'm so thankful to all the participants and especially George and all the administrators for making me feel like I belong in this industry. The Negro spiritual and the African American art song are two of my most favorite genres of music and they play a huge part in my career. So I felt what better way to not only help these genres survive but to thrive than become a donor. And I encourage everybody out there, my age, younger, older, to become donors and to give back and celebrate young talent coming up, our young singers, our young composers, and our young arrangers. Thank you so much, Dr. Shirley, for inspiring us to pursue what we love. And thank you for empowering us to be able to do so through your competition. Here's to many, many more illustrious years. And Mr. Shirley, as you know, you can count on me. And this was not possible without you. We want to thank you. Thank you for supporting, donating, participating, and collaborating to help this competition grow to what it is today. And thank you to Mr. Shirley for providing that vision. Performance is all about sharing. Sharing the music that has been created by someone else. Sharing our music if we are talented enough to improvise it and put it out there. It's about sharing.
freedom, oh freedom, oh freedom over me. And before I'd be a slave, I'd be buried in my grave and go home to my love. Thank you so much for allowing us, Mr. Shirley, to have a brief visit down memory lane, uh, to see some of the faces that have been with us for the, the 10 years. It was, it was quite beautiful for me to see the students that have been with us for all of that time. Before, oh. I just wanna say, <laughs> How grateful I am that you've been able to make this happen, all of you, and to see these young people prosper. It really is a dream come true for which I thank you and all that have and continue to make it happen. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Shirley. I feel exactly the same to see them year after year and they've grown up now 10 years later it's been quite a journey to to see them come back and so i hope that next year we'll be able to do some um, some special things with some of our past um contestants and recipients and we hope you'll join us for a wonderful festive celebration back in ann arbor